in the previous video we discussed about the propeller shaft. Uh, then in this video I am going to explain about the universal joints, how the universal joints work, what is the purpose behind using the universal joint in the propeller shaft. Friends observe this layout which is showing the powertrain components right from engine, clutch, transmission, propeller shaft that is what we discussed in the previous video and the differential at the axles. You can observe here this one and this component which are called as universal joints or which we are discussing in this in this video now. These two are the universal joints. The universal joint in a vehicle looks like this. Observe it clearly at one end of the propeller shaft. This is the universal joint and you can observe this figure and this figure explains you the necessity of a universal joint in the vehicle. You see this is the axis of the transmission and this is the axis of the differential. So normally in any vehicle the height of the differential is much or the level of the differential is much lower than the level of the transmission. So axis of this differential and the transmission will never be in same line. So as long as the both the axis are not in the same line you cannot connect with this you cannot connect these two components with any rigid axle or the rigid shaft. Connecting two objects of different axis with a rigid rod leads to breakage of this rod or any weaker component of this complete arrangement. So you need to provide the flexibility here to take care of the difference in the axis levels and difference of this angle. When you are connecting an object to these two components of different axis, you need to again connect though connect that particular object in a different axis again. So you can see this is the difference of angle, this is the total angle between the axis of this object differential and the propeller shaft and same angle you can see here. So when this object is rotating, the component fitted here should be capable to take care of that particular angular movement. That is what happens with the universal joints here. You can see the how universal joint is changing its position. One you can observe one cap of the universal joint how it is moving ahead in here and going I mean coming back when it comes down. Same way here from flange distance is increased in the down and the distance is reduced in the top. This is because of this angle between these two axes. To get such flexibility in power transmission or the torque transmission universal joint is required here. Why only universal joint? To maintain the greater angular velocity and also to withstand for the load being transmitted or the torque being transmitted between these components. This is one more animation you can see how the universal joint work by giving the flexibility to the torque transmission. This figure animation represents the gimbal mechanism. This is the inspiration behind inventing the universal joint. This gimbal mechanism was invented somewhere in 230 BC and was used by many people for sailing, for compass and so many things. So keeping one object axis as it is and changing the object of other items. This particular gimbal is having the three axes. This one, this one and this one. This is about the gimbal and this is the inspiration behind inventing a universal joint. This is how one type of universal joint looks like this. There are different types of the universal joint. Basic part in the center cross will be same whereas the caps will be different and mounting mechanism will be different. Observe this propeller shaft or cordon shaft. 
which is having this type of universal joint this caps are bolted to this yokes of the universal joint here and yoke of the flange of one of the member either transmission or differential this is another type of universal joints having cups instead of this separate caps these cups are press fit in the yokes like this and held firmly with the help of this locks this is another type of universal joint this is one more this is different type of universal joint when you observe the construction of the universal joint it looks like this this is the called the center piece or the spider made with forged steel these are called trunnions 90 degrees apart each other each universal joint will be having four trunnions and this is this acts as an inner race to this needle bearing and also this is also the main component in transmitting the power having necessary strength in transmitting the power if you just cut this cross and look at the this is the passage for the grease to lubricate this bearings and the grease is pumped through the grease nipple and some crosses do not have even this grease passage also because they are fitted with sealed needle bearings with pre-filled grease this is the job of the cross and these two trunnions with caps are fitted in one yoke either of the propeller shaft or the other side that is differential or the transmission and these two trunnions are fitted in the other member so this will rotate like this on this axis and this also rotates like this on this this is one axis this is one axis 90 degrees apart this mechanism only gives the flexibility next is the needle roller bearing placed here this bearing used to reduce or minimize the friction when this joint is moving in the yoke and this is the cup of the needle roll bearing this acts as an inner race to the bearing and also this is tightly fitted the yoke of the members as we discussed and this is called the lock to held this cup preventing the flying off when the shaft is rotating generally when the shaft is rotating because of the centrifugal force generated there is every possible these cups will fly off and bearings will fly off cross damage and also propeller shaft also get damaged to avoid that one this particular circlip or locking ring is provided this is the construction about the universal joint and this oil seal is provided to prevent the leakage of the grease available for the bearing and this is the dust seal provided to protect these components from entering the dust from outside this is how a cross and the cups assembled with the needle bearings and seal looks like this it is just complete unit along with the needle bearing comes and sits here this is the grease nipple provided to pump the grease and these are the holes drilled the pump is the grease is pumped this is, is pausing like this inside in the passes what you have seen in the previous video and comes through these holes and keeps for lubricating of this needle bearings this is how a transparent figure you can see cross needle bearings caps caps held with the lock ring this is the yoke of the transmission or differential these two are the yokes of the propeller shaft so two caps are in this component transmission or differential and these two caps are fixed in the yoke of the propeller shaft universal joints are really very strong in transmitting the high torque 
at the same time they have certain limitations in transmitting the torque in terms of velocity and angle beyond certain velocity and angle this universal joints will not work to overcome this they have invented the constant velocity joints that is cv joints which are used in the front wheel drive vehicles which we discussed in the previous videos go through this two pages notes hope this will be useful to you in case you have any queries or doubts you can always contact me through the email Thank you.